So for the play, Intimate Apparel, question number one. Um, I thought the most memorable part of the play uh, was when Mrs. Van Buren gets cheated on by her husband. You can kind of see that part coming, but it's definitely still like a memorable part of the play. Um, for question number two, identify three prominent themes. Uh, the first one I noticed was uh, definitely a racial theme. Um, it shows like the struggles that like Esther has to go through, especially in the time period she's living in and uh, where she's living as well. And then there's also a gender theme uh, by like the roles the women play um, throughout the playwright. And then um, I also think there's a theme of like early 20th century inner city lifestyles. Um, it's it's kind of like she was like stuck in the city and with her job. Um, and then for question number three, I think, um, that the play, uh, reinforces the understanding of Afri of like the African American experience, uh, during this time. And then I also think it reinforces the stereotypes as well by showing like what they had to deal with. Um, for question number four, uh, do stereotypes of African Americans and other groups still exist today? Um, I definitely believe they still exist today. Um, I think through like the media and like the older generations and what they've kind of like passed down, um, they kind of perpetuate stereotypes. But I think uh, us like as a new generation, we can do a lot to overcome stereotypes. It's it's a lot of like what people achieve like when they achieve things that prove stereotypes wrong, that's like the type of thing that can help like overcome stereotypes. And then finally, uh, two questions about the play. I would say, uh, do you think the fact that uh, Mr. Marx was Jewish uh, means the playwright was looking to address more stereotypes or was that just a part of the play? And then uh, what do you think was the main uh, overall theme of the playwright wanted to stress like the most over the other theme.